I'm wondering if excitement levels for unboxing here on GCN are ever going to peak. Because this week is brilliant, like properly brilliant. Again, and you might think it's something of a giveaway that we've got two Oakley bags on the table and that suspense has kind of gone already. But no, this could actually be a clever decoy. I mean, it could be. It's not. We are actually giving away a whole load of Oakley stuff. Two lucky viewers this week will be winning one of everything that we are about to unbox. I'll tell you exactly how you can enter the giveaway a little bit later on because we can't really be doing with that now. We've got amazingness to look at. Oh yes, because there can't be many brands, I think, that have got quite the same level of desirability as Oakley. And it's quite amazing when you think that it actually all started out with a guy making handlebar grips for motocross bikes back in 1975. And it took another five years before they actually released their first eyewear, which is obviously what they're now perhaps most famous for. And then it took another 37 years, by my reckoning, to launch this. Their first range of bike helmets. Yes, so in 2017, if you haven't got there already, Oakley launched a range of three bike helmets. Bike helmets that are actually now used by Team Dimension Data and Team Katusha in the World Tour. Now, of the three, all of which are called the Arrow, the Arrow 7 is like a time trial specific helmet, the Arrow 5 is like an aero road helmet, and then this one is the Arrow 3, which as you can probably tell from those enormous vents up front, is the super light and super ventilated one. Now the construction is a traditional polycarbonate outer with an EPS inner. You can see that it's got what are called ecstatic pads in there. I don't know whether you can see that, but there you go. And these apparently have silver woven into them. That's right, which has, I'm led to believe, antibacterial properties. Always a good thing in my book. And I don't know what you're thinking. Stop it. Uh, right, now, in addition to the protection from the EPS foam, it also has a MIPS liner in there, which is like a kind of low friction layer that's designed to reduce some of the impact forces from oblique angles. So effectively, it tries to allow the helmet to flex on your head to absorb some of that rotational energy from crashes. A feature I particularly like the look of is the use of a BOA at the back here for the retention system. So it's called the BOA 360 Fit. And you can see it kind of loops around your whole head in a continuous arc. And that apparently is designed therefore to hug the whole of your head as opposed to just squeezing the back and the front of the helmet together. But there is another big advantage to having such a minimalist looking retention system and that is seamless glasses integration. Yes, surprise, surprise, when a company as famous for eyewear as Oakley get involved with helmets, they have not forgotten the importance of perfect fit when it comes to your sunglasses. So you have no retention system to get in the way of the arms of the glasses, and also apparently you've got a perfect place to store your glasses for when you're not actually wearing them on your face, you need to stick them in your helmet. Now, if only I had a pair of glasses with me, to use as an illustration. Boom. Yeah, here we go. Flight jackets, woohoo! And yes, they were in the bag and therefore they are indeed part of the giveaway. Oh yeah, go on, let's take a look. Woohoo, look at those. Oh my days, it's like, it's like a cross between a beautiful butterfly and that Transformers toy you always wanted. Seriously cool, aren't they? Right, let me illustrate my point before I get too carried away. See, perfect fit, look at that. And... Perfect fit. Now I think there's something of the original factory pilots about these, isn't there? Except of course, that these have an open edge at the top and that's designed to improve your field of view when your head's really down and you're really pressing on. Now, one feature that I particularly like is what's called the advancer nose piece, okay? So with a flick of a switch, you can see that the whole glasses just move ever so slightly further away from your face. So that's designed to actually improve airflow behind the glasses for when you're riding at slower speeds. 
Cool, huh? And then, before I take them off, and believe me, I don't really want to, uh, they can also be customized in terms of the temple length. So that's effectively gonna change the length of the arms, which is a great thing to do if, well, you've ever found that glasses don't fit properly either because the arms are too long or too short. You're, I've got to take them off now. Take them off. I can take them off, reluctantly, but give you a bit of Oakley trivia, okay? So the material that the nose piece and also the ear socks, which for clarification, this bit here, nothing to do with your actual ears, is made from a material called unobtainium, which is actually an invention of James Jannard, the founder of Oakley, and is apparently the very same material that those first motocross grips were actually made from all the way back in 1975. Cool, yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, you've also probably been looking at that sticker that says Prism Road on there. So that refers to the lenses. Now, if you're not familiar with Oakley's Prism concept, then let me fill you in, because it is a cool one, right? So they have tailored the lens tints for individual sports. So the idea is that they ascertain what the most important colors are and then try and draw them out to enhance vision. So for road, what they've done is actually try and draw out traffic lights and also help differentiate between white and yellow lines. But then, how nice is this? They've also said they've brought out blues and greens for a more pleasant ride. Brilliant, it's like Instagram for your face. Okay, so your head is now sorted, but the bag's not empty. And that is because Oakley also produced a cycling kit. In here, we've got the Jawbreaker jersey. We've got the Jawbreaker shorts. How cool is that? Very modern, very aero, sleek cut kit. So nicely tight, nothing flapping about. I'm liking that. So we've got uh, laser cut sleeves on there as well, so no seams on the end. Uh, mesh side panels down the side of the jersey. Of course, got rear pockets at the back and with hidden reflective trim on there as well. Not too hidden obviously, because then it wouldn't do any good. But there you go, those bits there really pop out. Then the matching shorts. Where are my shorts? Bibs, of course. They also have laser cut legs, not sleeves, uh, with integrated grippers on there. They look pretty cool. Wow, like woven in, awesome. And then, I'm most intrigued by this, the Smooth Vapor Chamois. So their words, not mine, but damn do I want to take a look now. Oh, wow. Hey, that looks cool, doesn't it? So there we go. Really is actually smooth. Textured padding on there, so that would improve airflow, you'd think. Totally seamless. Looks comfy. Nice. Looks pretty cool to me. How cool? This cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I look all right anyway. Particularly, Pleased with the sleeves, excellent length, and actually, it's tight even on my puny little biceps. <laughs> yeah, if you've got normal arms though, don't worry, because it will stretch, there is plenty of stretch in there. Uh, now, you can actually get the kit in different colors. It comes in a navy blue, and also a black with orange stripes across there, but I really like the monochrome look, actually. I think that's great. Now, before I tell you how you can enter the competition, because remember, two of you, are gonna win this whole complete setup and an identical version of. I am gonna hit you with one last bit of Oakley trivia. The name, Oakley, apparently, according to Wikipedia, comes from the name of James Jannard, the founder's dog. Yeah, Oakley Ann, an English setter, apparently. So there we go, might be true, might not be. Uh, right, what is true though, is gonna be how you can enter our giveaway. So go to the description beneath this video, click on it, click on the link in there and that will take you through to the competition. It is as simple as that. There we go. Two of you will have a complete Oakley outfit. Amazing. Right, uh, do make sure you subscribe to the tech channel by the way, because we have got loads of unboxings coming up. There's always someone out on the channel. And if you subscribe, it means you're not ever gonna miss any, because if you're watching this more than a week after, then the closing date for entries will have already been and gone, you see, and you don't want that. So do make sure you subscribe. And then of course, if you wanna watch another video after you've just entered the competition, then why not check out this Team Dimension Data bus tour that Emma did at the Giro d'Italia. Dimension Data, of course, wearing helmets, glasses, and clothing.